Okay, so since we just did that um, lecture on this equation, C equals nu times lambda, let's do a problem on it. So what's the frequency in hertz of a gamma, gamma ray with a wavelength of 3.56 times 10 to the negative 11 meters? So let's write it down that wavelength. So um, this is something you're going to have to remember, this equation, and this constant is something you're going to have to remember. So what are we looking for? It says frequency, right? So we're going to have to rearrange this equation to isolate the variable frequency. In order to do that, we get nu equals the speed of light over lambda. <coughs> So we have the speed of light here, 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per one second. And we know the wave. So this one's pretty easy. Again, like we said, we didn't have to convert any. So notice, this is the same thing as saying Everybody okay with that? So, if you like to cancel out your units, like I do. Does everybody see what I did there? Hopefully it makes sense. So let's do it together. Divided by 3.56 mean negative 11. And uh, so the only number that was given to us in this problem is this one. So of course this is going to go to 360. So I got, and hopefully you got, 8.4. second, remember? And remember what we said about these per seconds, it means hertz. So the answer is going to be 8.43 times 10 to the hertz. So in other words, the frequency of this gamma array with this wavelength of 3.56 times 10 to the negative 11 meters is 8.43 times 10 to the 18. Okay, is everybody okay with that? So notice here, one other thing I guess we should notice, real small wavelength, right? Very, very tiny. So the frequency should be very big. Everybody okay with that? Any questions on this one? Okay. 